welcome back youtube and of course twitch audience um so my plans for today tinker's construct I'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do with this so what are we gonna do with this um first things first we need uh to get into this we're of course gonna need the good old grout i'm pretty sure grout is still meta grout is definitely meta in order to make all of our stone um and tinkers we still we have to get into that uh that basic tinker smeltery thing right yeah so we can't get anywhere without making us a, a smeltery controller and so grout grout is on the list and it is not removed it's definitely here so grout is going to be our clay sand and gravel uh, we can make some that way and definitely going to make some this way we need quite a bit of it if I can afford it. Now, I know I have gravel. It's just all compressed. So let me make some more of it. All right, let's grab our seared brick. And I mean, I guess we can go ahead and start the basics. Um, and I can set it over here. I know we have carpet and everything. But the basics is going to be um, we are going to need ourselves a casting basin. There we go. Um, we need ourselves a tank. And we're going to have to collect ourselves some lava here in a minute. The goal is to make the smeltery controller. But we need, I believe, the seared melter first. In order to make this. So sealed, seared, seared melter goes on top of the, the tank. And then we are going to cast out with this some copper. And we are going to need seared brick. Right? Seared brick and copper. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty basic. I mean, this is about as basic as it gets. And this is how we actually have to start this. This is not where this is going to go, by the way. This is just where I am prepping it. So there we go. And uh, I believe we need three copper. Right? Is it three copper? How much is it? Four. Four copper. We can only put three in at a time. So we'll leave that because we have to get some sticks. Cross some sticks. With a bucket. See, it's so much faster now that I have I have uh, some sort of storage to pull out of. So much faster. Let's turn this into lava. There we go. Honestly, that's all we need getting started here. That'll get to cooking. And then we just need our seared brick in there. One more of those. And we have a controller. Hey, look, we got a smeltery controller. Look how cool that is. We're awesome. All right, let's pick up all this. And I think we can go ahead and uh, while everything else is smelting, we should do some decorating. I think, I think decorating is definitely a must for today. So what I tend to do is once we get to a certain point and I have everything sort of collected, I would, you know, go ahead and destroy it. But I, I don't think I'm going to do that with this setup um, because I, I think I want this to be sort of organic in our playthrough that we're doing here. So when I say organic, I'm like, I like the idea of us, for example, like clearing out an area, but also maybe like using the area to go up so maybe we go up here i don't know Nice, very organic. To make this look a little bit better, I need to sort of thicken, thicken this up a little bit, I think.
Actually, we probably use stairs here, right? Stairs upside down. We give that a, a lot thicker of a look. Perfect. That looks a lot better. I might even push this back one just to give it that extra little little bit. So now that I have this set up, we need to potentially build out an area. Now this is going to be part of our our uh, base right there, but this area shouldn't be. We should probably get the exchanging gadget, shouldn't we? Uh, do we have a way yet of charging up stuff? Aha, charging station. All right, so to help make building easier, let's go ahead and make a charging station. It's gonna be a block of coal. Good old fashioned charging station from Direwolf. And uh, let's see, how hard is it gonna be to get into building gadgets and get an exchanging gadget? Oh, not too bad at all. Thank goodness. Let's go slap this on our power grid. Our our mediocre power grid. And let's get the charging. Oh, wait, yeah, this, this can charge off the power grid and can also charge off a of coal. I forgot about that. Now we need to figure out, like, what materials, because I know the base is going to be all the... All that stuff. Hmm. And this is going to be... Smeltery is going to be quite large, actually. It's going to be... And then also spread out on the sides. So I actually need to make this a little bit bigger. All right, so with all that fun, fun jazz taking place, um, let's grab out all of our seared brick. Very, very good. Perfect. And let's get our smeltery started up. All right, and then uh, we're going to need the face. So I'll probably put the face right here. That'll be our controller. Where do I want the drain? Probably put the tank here, wherever it's at. There it is. Tank. And then this can be two outputs. Actually, I'll just use the corner here for that. This and this, because this can actually go to both sides. All right. And then uh, what? Put the glass here, maybe? And then we just build up, because this is a completed smeltery. And voila! It is nearly done! Just gotta do that. And then we gotta, we gotta put a little smile on its face. Aw. Alright, let's, uh, now that we know the size and where this is positioned... I'm thinking about tearing it all down and pushing it back against this wall. Because it feels really weird being up against here. I'm definitely thinking about pushing it back against the wall. Because as you can see that up there, I don't like that I can see through that. But it is complete and we do have it going. Yeah, it looks a lot better set back. That gives me more room to do more things over here. All right, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. I just need to get this... Trimmed up at the top. We can even fake it. I don't, I don't... We can definitely fake it. Let me see. Can I get a block placed on here? Oop. Trying to park car. I cannot... Apparently... Apparently I cannot jump from that block to that block. Okay. I can this one though. Let's 
let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, like that. Looks good to me. Perfect. Um, so now that I have that tinkers, we can probably move this. Actually, I want to leave that there because it looks kind of cool. Um, but this does need to change because we need an anvil, right? We need to make ourselves the anvil. So we have brass. Can I make it out of brass? I think I can. Um, tinkers anvil. I'm glad that we were able to make it with brass because of the extra brass that we have. Um, so now we have just about everything. I'm going to go ahead and make another part builder just to have it up there. You know what would be nice? If I can make the legs of the part builder, uh, the brick. That'd be cool. It'd be nice once I have, uh, like a wireless system for this so I can carry my inventory with me. All right, I got that fueled up. Um, and I guess we can start working on casts. Let's get a cast for every single part. Our barrel. Oh, our barrel connects to it. Ooh, nice. Get a cast for literally everything. So that only used up one, which is what I wanted to test. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we'll just get a cast set up for everything. I think for right now, I'm just going to go with like my standard tools, iron. We'll go with like iron for the tool head. We might do like part copper and cobalt, which I don't, did I get any, we have this. Can we make some cobalt? So yeah, in order to get cobalt, which we could use for some materials, I think it'll be best to crush this and see if we can't potentially get some cobalt out of this and also get netherite scrap from it. This is how we're going to get netherite, I believe. The, the big thing I really want is my axe, which is going to help. I think that's the first thing I want to make is the axe here. Um, so the broad axe makes a quick work of trees, powerful, heavy weapon as well. Um, and we need a broad axe head. And then, let's see, a heavy handle. Where's the broad axe head? Is it not gonna... Okay, yeah. Uh, the pattern cost is eight. So it's gonna cost eight ingots to make the head. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll cast that out. We'll make that out of iron. And then we need a binding. Binding only costs one. And the pickaxe head costs two. So I think we'll do... Copper for the binding. I know what I'm going to do now. Copper for the binding. And we'll do the oxidizing thing where we give it some water, which I think is kind of funny. Um, and unfortunately, we're going to get, we have, we have to put like what, two, three, three in there to get the max out. Otherwise, we're going to have stuff stuck in there. All right. I think we almost have all the materials. We can start making all of our stuffs. All right, so that's ready. We get our first cast out on that. Our pickaxe head is going to be the cobalt. Uh, this is going to be the copper, right? One ingot. Now, this needs water. Okay, and then with that copper, we cast water on top of it. And then it becomes oxidized copper. That's kind of cool. And then last but not least, we were doing iron for the tool rod, right? And we a cost of three. This will be pretty interesting casting this out, seeing what this tool's like. That's the fun of Tinkers though, is to play around with tools like this. You know, mix and match and see what really works for you. Because I'm not gonna be fighting things with this, I just wanted it to be a tool that, you know, possibly has some good durability. We get one point, was that 1.69 mining depth? Whatever that means. Is that good? Mining depth. 
This has really decent durability on it. And it's going to get even better when we modify it. What's our attack damage? 12. Pretty, pretty good. Doesn't take too long to recharge either. Okay. So there's that. Uh, now, for a hammer, I think this is where Cobalt is really going to, to take precedent. Um, for the hammer, we need two plates and the hammer piece. I'm thinking we do both plates out of Cobalt. Look at that mining speed. This out of iron and the rod out of copper. That's what I'm thinking. All right, time to make our hammer. So two cobalt plates on here. And I'm not saying this is the best hammer in the world, but this hammer will get the job done for sure. Especially with it having cobalt, giving it that light weight, allowing us to mine quicker, which is going to be really handy. And then our dwarven handle. I have no idea really what dwarven give us, but we're going to get smite two sturdy, lightweight, and dwarven on this bad boy. And uh, the durability... Not the greatest in the world, but we'll be able to fix this. I wonder what the the depth mining... Does that mean the lower we go, the faster we can mine? I don't know. I'm going to take this. And I kind of want to test it out before I apply a modifier. Because by default, we, we're going to have two upgrades available. Oh, that's plenty fast. Maybe we should use obsidian... But then again, you can only use two, and it's like giving it unbreaking instead of giving it more durability. There we go. Uh, iron reinforcement, slime still reinforcement, seared, gold, emerald, cobalt reinforcement, obsidian pain. This uses up the ability slots. That, that creates protection, increases protection, all damage types. Okay, so... Melee protection. So these have... These are modifiers within themselves. This gives reinforce. Okay, so... These provide the reinforcements. They change this again. Um, this gives you... Overforced? Reinforced using slime, allowing more capacity for the over slime. Fire protection. Ah, this is for the gear. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So you have your fire protection, blast protection. Amethyst is going to what? Be projectile protection. Gold reinforcement. Magic protection. Ooh, that could be useful for stuff. I think magic protection is what gets people... Um. So you can get four pains for, what, one block of obsidian? Okay, so yeah, we have three pains left. But didn't you see what it takes to, to do this? 24. 24 of these give you... Is this like the max reinforcement, or is this... I see max five, so you can do this five times. But you also are going to need a modifier for each one, each time you do this. Okay. That'll take a lot to do. It may be, it may be worth it for a hammer. Yeah, and if you pour an iron nugget over it. Three nuggets. That's good to know. Um, that's, That'll be something I definitely work on later, for sure. Um, the only other thing I want to make is I need to make a axe and a regular pickaxe. And then we should be good there. Can I use brass? Plated. So it gives you overworked. So you have to plate the slime, which is one slime. Interesting. We can try this out. So it'll be a stick covered in, so it'll be our rod. Let's do this for our rod. Our rod covered in slime. And then we plate it. 
Okay. Go ahead and cast out the slime. Cast out the brass. This is kind of cool. Overworked is new. Yeah, I don't know what overworked does yet. So we have a regular axe. I mean, that's decent. We get three upgrades on this. There we go. And... Not bad. Um, Let's see, attack speed. Mining speed is, is not bad either. We get that lightweight bonus, which is nice. Okay. That'll give me a bonus. Brings our mining speed up. And there we go. About as fast as our diamond pick was. Feels like a regular diamond pick. Now, we do have other modifiers that we can put on here. And then... So that's a full level of haste. This would give it hastier. And that would also take up our other modifier slot. Uh, how much faster is it now? That I can live with. That's actually, that feels really fast. We can put a tank, a tool allows you to store fluids onto your tool. Luckier, uh, or luck. This is what I want to put on here. Golden carrot, gold, ender pearls. I think we need the first tier of luck, which is blocks of lapis, a cornflower or a blue orchid. Okay. That's correct. Wait, what? What did I just figure out I could do? I hit A to lock this recipe up here. That's, that's cool. Now that's cool. So this is going to put luck on it. Now, that's cool. And now the upgrade from luck, uh, we should be able to actually upgrade it. Yeah, well, actually, Lucky-er and then lucky S requires la rabbit's foot, right? And a name tag. So, Lucky-er. Kind of cool. <laughs> I like that we could add that there. That is a that is a new feature part of REI that's gold. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Now, this is a thing that once you have applied and have utilized your, your perk here, so we've used our ability slot. This is a considered ability, I believe. Because we have utilized it, um, this is not going to cost anything because we're just leveling up the ability that we already have. We still have one more upgrade slot, though, which is something that I could give, give this more haste or what have you. Yep. Haste is always worth it. Oh, yeah. I want to need some more more wood, but I wonder if um, chisel doesn't do wood, right? Oh, it does have wood variants. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. That's very fitting for like our our room. Yeah, I like that. That's a really cool looking texture, isn't it? And now for the walls, I could probably make some mossy, throw some mossy in here. It actually kind of works. I think maybe incorporating some more seared stone into the walls would also look good. Yeah, I'm thinking like here and then maybe, you know, for a tinkers thing, I kind of like it. It works. Um, there's going to be more, I'm sure, to come with this. Things will be fitted in. Yeah. But for what it is, this is a nice little tinkers area. I like it. Tinkers was definitely on my list to do for today. And we've got it done. We got a repair talisman. Oh, wow. 
free repair talisman? You can't even get this thing. You can't craft it. What? We just got one for free. I'll take that. It doesn't repair our Tinker's tools, but it repairs everything else. Yeah, it'll repair our armor too. Okay, speaking of armor, um, the, the Tinker's armor. That's what I wanted to look at, right? Um, now, has defense slots. Is this going to be enough cobalts? 18. Yeah, we have enough. Now, to automate this process, um, let's go ahead and use a hopper real quick. So it's actually really simple to kind of get started here. All we need is something like a barrel. Hopper. And a lever over the top of this to start the cast. And then everything, once it's done, it'll just be pulled out and we're good to go. Finger's armor, we are going to need chains. So this is the uh, the boots. Chains. Some of this is going to need chains. Chains for the leggings, which is kind of cool. Then the chest piece, and then the helmet. I wonder though, is this better armor than our diamond gear? I don't know. It's a little bit less, it looks like. A little bit less. But it can be completely customized, which is the cool part about it, right? Yeah, I mean, we can put diamond on it on each piece. And I'm, I'm assuming that, I mean, we, and we can try emerald as well. Because emerald said, what did it say? Increases durability depending on the base damage. Boosts effectiveness of conditional damage and mining speed. But that's probably for tools. Conditional damage. I wonder if that what that really does for armor. Okay, so here's our here's our stat increase. So we, our armor goes to three, because our base is one. Our armor goes to three. Our toughness is still at two. Our resistances is still at one. Um, this just takes up our upgrade slot. Which I think is fine because we don't need anything else. Yeah, the real gains are going to come from us doing those obsidian plates. Now, once we equip this. Now we have the same as diamond. Our gear is the same as diamond. And I could technically make our gear look like anything. But we can, wa we can wander around in copper gear. It's the copper gear that everybody wanted. All right, perfect. I mean, we're looking pretty swag. We got uh, copper uh, in be uh, sorry, I said establishment earlier, but it's embezzlement or sorry, embellishment. Why do I say embe embezzles when you do something illegal? That is a legal thing. <laughs> embellishment. <laughs> we still do not make a sword, so we have one more thing left to do, and we need to make a tinker sword. Okay, with all of these parts set up, let's build. The ultimate early game sword. I want this on the bottom. And there we, ha there we have it. It does an attack damage of 12, which is honestly the same as what this does. This does more damage, actually. The broad axe. It also has more materials in it. Um, but this also does plus 3.6 uh, neutral damage. On top of everything else. I think due to the steel. And the attack speed is meh. But we are going to increase that. Actually, the attack speed's quite fast. Wow. We're, we're going to increase this whole setup here, though, with quartz. That'll give us sharp, which gives us one more attack damage. So this is going to put luck on there. Help us when we're attacking some mobs. And nice, we have a cleaver. It's pretty well rounded. I would say this is a pretty, pretty decent cleaver. Its attack speed is actually kind of nice too. Let's go put it to the test. All right, was there a chest under here? Ooh. Darn TNT, man. Trying to get me. Oh, we got netherite scrap. 
Oh, that's a rough jump. Okay, I got it though. Apparently I'm going up. It's so loud. Oh, no! All right. Whoops. Oh, we got another, another blaze skull. Perfect. One minute left on our timer. I'll take as many heads as I can get, honestly. Funny thing would be like, yeah, if it acted like an actual nether and, and for some reason you couldn't actually mine up. Lodestones? I don't know what I would use that for. You can smelt down lodestones? Yeah, it turns into an entire netherite. So that's basically getting a netherite ingot. All right, well, we got so much done today and uh, I wanted to get into Tinkers. Tinkers is a huge mod, even though it doesn't seem like it is. It has so much complexity to it. And uh, I'm glad we got through it today. That was one of the goals that I wanted to do yesterday, but I was able to do it today, thankfully and get an extra stream in, and it's been absolutely fun. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's extra bonus stream. And if you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for enjoying these videos and commenting something down below. And uh, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button already, you should probably click the subscribe button over on YouTube. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.